They're going to restage that performance tonight. So this is Three Canal and Mailing's version of Marlon James's Book of Night Women. Round of applause to welcome.
down in the cave piece, thinking that if she can bide her time till morning hour, at least she will know where to run. Then she look around. Will it see nothing but dark? Not a darkness like sky or like cellar, but a dark with prickly things to scratch her. She ran further, not knowing where she was going, but running until that be the only thing she could think of. Then she see a light. A little twinkle far off lead her to the cave. The cave was just a hole in the hill that she barely climbed through. But once inside, it wide like a white woman closet. <laughs> there be nothing to see. So she go by hearing, touching. She follow a smell that's unlike the others. Not musty or old, sour, mint, and lemon grass. Look here now, beauty. Sniff out your auspicious selves. What more proof do you need? The lot of you. Let a terror voice come in from further. Excursion, child? Get your backside in here! Homer, let us step into where the women be. Homer, come out of a dark corner. When Lilith look up, she see all six women looking at her. Bantam sized Gorgon, who scratch her hair and frown. Hippolyta with the branch hair. The tallest and skinniest who remain standing in a dark corner. Iphigenia. Lilith smiled, but Iphigenia didn't smile back. Iphigenia face wide like crocodile, and lips thick like molasses, and she wearing a neck scarf and a red dress long in the sleeves like she expected.
Elements of myth, 